This is a piece of cardboard, and today I'm gonna make three different unique fingerboard obstacles out of cardboard. So let's make some fingerboard ramps. In the past, I've made a few things out of cardboard. One of the things is a giant fingerboard park made out of cardboard. I'm gonna be honest, the fingerboard park is pretty nice to have, but it is also nice to have obstacles. I'm talking about obstacles that you can move around, but I wanna make the obstacles out of cardboard. The first thing I want to make is an A-frame that also has a hip. It'll kind of be like that with a flat spot and then like a hip so you can like... these two pieces cut out now and these are gonna go like this. I kind of just realized now how big this obstacle is gonna be but that's kind of all right. This is the A-frame so far and it's looking pretty good. The idea now is I'm gonna have another ramp going down this side, so then we're able to hip into both of these landings. This obstacle turned out quite a bit bigger than I was thinking. I think this would also have more flow if it was a little bit smaller, so I think I'm just gonna cut the entire thing down a little bit. I only took about this much off of this and that made a big difference. You might be thinking to yourself, this is not gonna feel that good on a fingerboard with all these seams. Similar to the fingerboard park, I'm gonna put cardboard out of a cereal box over this entire thing to make it nice and smooth. All that needs to be done now is putting this cardboard over this entire thing. Dude, look at how much better this looks with the box. Overall, pretty happy with this. There's a couple gaps in the cardboard just because I ran out, but overall, it's pretty good. It is time to make the second fingerboard obstacle out of cardboard. This is the cutout for the next obstacle, and it's gonna be similar to that, but with a little bit of a different idea. Instead of having a ramp on this side to act as a hip, I'm gonna have a ledge instead. I like this shape because you can kind of go both ways, and it's like flat on this side, but then with like a little bit of curve on this side. Plus, there's gonna be a ledge to hop onto. If anybody wants to make this themselves, make sure to use this exact cardboard from an air purifier and it works amazing.
most obstacles are now complete and overall I think I did a pretty good job. I'm pretty stoked about the ramp part of this, how it has a flat spot here and then kind of a part with a curve. Once I start doing some tricks on this, I think it'll feel so good. Before we have a session on these though, we gotta make a third obstacle. This is the cutout for the third obstacle and it has a nice smooth part here, a flat part on top, and then kind of this like cool shape to it. I think when you fingerboard on this, you'll be able to get kind of creative with like what you do. I got the rough cardboard over the entire surface and now we're gonna put the cereal box over pretty much everything. Oh yeah, I also made this and this is just gonna be like a ramp that I guess we can hip into everything. I also left this part pretty long just because we're gonna fold that kind of like onto the top. Gonna make more sense once we start doing it. The third obstacle is finally complete. Just this one obstacle took like four and a half hours. With all the obstacles complete now, let's test them out. These are probably some of my new favorite ramps. It's actually amazing just by putting cereal box over the entire obstacle, it makes it so much more smooth. Everybody watching this, if you enjoyed, drop a like on this video and also comment down below which obstacle is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and I'll see you next time.